What's up guys and welcome back to another video in the Curious Glasses. This is part two of our journey through Khan Academy programming, Intro to JS Drawing and Animation. Today, we're gonna be tackling this project called Project Shooting Star. From last video, you might have been doing much more programming and advancing through the tutorials in Khan Academy, which is amazing. But you might have come across this project and you're stuck or you need some help or you just don't know where to start. Well, that's why I'm here today and I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know to tackle this project. So without further ado, let's go on with the video. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is basically number scrub this variable, these two variables to which position you want it to be. And this is for the first step. So I already went ahead and did that because it's really easy. As I said, just number scrub these two variables and position it where you wanted it, want it to be. And you can customize this however you want. And you can even customize the background. And it's actually what I did. I went ahead and, and I like kind of just dragged along the background and I was like, okay, maybe that's a good background. <laughs> well, that's black. That would be night. But, like, maybe, like, there. Or I just, like, had some fun kind of experimenting with the background. So, um, that was actually pretty cool, right? And one second. Let me just go ahead and quickly fix this background so it's not like before. Okay. So, once you have it positioned... Now you want to make the star shoot across the canvas. So to do that, all you're going to do is you're going to do plus equals to the first variable and the second variable. What I'm thinking is I want this uh, star to shoot from this position and shoot diagonally. To do that, I'm going to do plus equals for both of the variables. So let's do that. X pause plus equals. And then this number, you can do whatever number you want. And this basically says how fast you want the ellipse to move. And I want it to move pretty fast because I want it to be realistic. It's a shooting star. So I'll say six. Now it's just moving across the canvas. But we want it to move diagonally. We want it to move diagonally. So we do the same thing for the Y pause. And ready? Voila. It is now moving diagonally across the canvas. So we've already completed steps one and two, and we have one step left, which is step three. Let's go ahead and do step three. And add another star or other shape and animate it going in a different direction. So I'm thinking about just making the same ellipse, same dimensions, except obviously in a different position and shooting in a different direction to do that i'm going to keep these two numbers the same but change the position of these two numbers so what i want to do is i'm just going to create an el another ellipse and this is just basic so you can actually make this a star or a triangle or any shape you prefer it to be so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to see where i want the start of position so I want it to kind of position over here so that that would be in the X coordinate about 374. And the Y coordinate, that would be about 24 because it's about 24 up. And um, obviously the dimensions are the same, so 10 and 10. And boom, we have our uh, second ellipse or second star position exactly where we want it to be but now there's a slight problem we can't shoot the star unless we make brand new variables for it the reason being is that if i was to just take the x position of this variable and just say 374 and then plus equals and then six look what would happen Oh no, would come up because 374 is not a variable. It's a number. So the program gets confused and we have to make a variable 
that says it would be 374. To do that, we will just make a brand new variable for this specific ellipse. That variable, I'm just gonna do the same as x pause, but just add a two so we know that so we can differ differentiate from the others. And equals to 374, right? Because we're just doing this x value. Okay, next one, same thing, y pause, and then two, and then equals to the y value right here, which is 24. So 24. And now we have our two variables ready to go. So let's go ahead and remove these numbers and put in the variables. Plus two, y, y plus two. And you see that it's in the same position as it was before, which is exactly what we want. So that's pretty good. Now let's go ahead and make this second star shoot. To do that, we do the same thing, except this time, this time, for the x pause two, we don't plus equals, but we minus equals. So minus equals, and I want it to be the same speed, so I'm gonna say six. Now, I forgot to tell you, but what I'm thinking in mind is I want the stars to cross each other when they're both moving diagonally. So to do that, as I said, minus equals six, and now the y pause is the same. It's the same as this y pause, which was plus equals, and then our same speed, which is six. And ready, three, two, one, yay. And we have our shooting star, and it's just like a perfect one. In this video, I tackled the first three steps just to give you a basic idea of what this project is asking for. If you are really wanting to do the two bonuses and you just don't know how to start or how to do it, then don't worry. Comment down below that you want to know how to do it, and I will definitely post a video on how to do those two bonuses. But until then, uh, don't forget to continue your journey through Khan Academy programming, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.